So Solomon is a witch um, who takes on a, a pupil of extraordinary power and of quite a lot of potential. Mm-hmm. A precocious boy. Mm-hmm. This is where it gets a little bit hazy. I'm really early on, I know. <laughs> but, Man, you're really but, dropping the ball already. <laughs> no, I was just thinking about, um, I know Solomon was a teacher, um, and then she becomes sort of the head witch in this world to the king at some point. And I don't mm-hmm. know if it was at the same time. Um, but Howell makes a pledge to the king to be able to be taught uh, mm-hmm. by Solomon that if he needs his service one day, that if he is called upon, that he will appear in the court before the king. And then Howell falls in love and he gets his heart broken. Mm-hmm. And he is in his happy place, in his field that he likes the most. In his little cottage. In his little cottage. And um, he catches a shooting star and he takes his heart out of his body and he puts his, puts it into this star and it becomes Calcifer, who is this fire that contains his heart. Fire demon. Fire demon. That he he refers to himself as a fire demon. Correct. Self-identifying. Is, yeah. Just after he does this, he hears and sees a mysterious girl with silver hair in the distance mm-hmm. call out to him and say to find her in the future mm. because she knows how to for him to get his heart back. Mm -hmm. And then she disappears into the void. And then Howell has a thing with the the Witch of the Waste, Mm -hmm. little tryst, and he ends up breaking the witch's heart. Okay, yeah, I was a little confused about that because that's what I thought happened, but I didn't know for sure. I'm glad that you're confirming this. Yes, and she still has the hots for him. She holds a candle for him, but she becomes pretty bitter. Boy, does she. (laughs) Gets henchmen, Mm -hmm. all sorts. She also puts on a lot of pounds. (laughs) Well, we don't know. Maybe she was always looking like that. He did say that she was much more attractive back in the day. Here's what I was confused about. Was she the one that broke his heart? No, I don't think so. Okay, so we don't know who broke his heart. We don't know who broke his heart. Yeah, but that was like his first love. Okay. And that's when he was like, I don't want my heart in my body anymore. What happened was after he got his heart broken, he became a Casanova. Hell yeah. All right. Now and I'm liking he Howell became a ladies more. man. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. he was always protecting his heart and never getting attached. Mm-hmm. And he kept running away if it ever got more serious so that he wouldn't get hurt. It's because he didn't have a heart. He gave it to a fucking flame. <laughs> yeah. And that's why. Because it hurts so badly when he had his heart broken the first time that he couldn't deal with it again. And so he devised this whole plan to have this this castle that would be able to um, move so he could always run away. Um, I know that game, Hal. <laughs> and then he took on different personas. And he became, you know, sort of a wizard uh, or an alchemist in all these different um, places. And uh, hence why he has a knob on his door that turns to the different colors. Which, which would I thought then, was really cool. So cool. Very cool. Which will then open up to um, different places. Thanks for watching that clip from the Anime Movie Podcast. Follow the links in the description below to hear full episodes, and please subscribe to our YouTube channel for more fun clips like this.